Exotic is something different. I really love the old arcade games of the 80s, Pac-Man and Joust and Robotron, and I was really interested in seeing what would happen if we took the colorful gameplay, the point scoring system from those games, and brought them into the future and combined them with a modern first person shooter. Being part of an independent developer uh, has a lot of advantages and disadvantages, but uh, among its advantages is that we really had complete creative control over the game as it was being made. Nobody was telling us exactly what features to put into the game. Nobody was telling us exactly how the game was supposed to look. So what that allowed us to do was to let the game kind of develop itself uh, organically. And uh, the game just ended up to be really fun to play. We've taken Exotic in a totally different direction than your average first-person shooter, where the palettes are typically gray or brown. We've gone in a radically different direction. So you'll see that come through in our weapons, in the lighting. It's a very visceral, sort of glowing arcade experience. The weapon in Exotic is totally different as well. It's alive, it has wings, you can develop eight different types of ammo, everything from grenades, poison bombs, uh, electricity to stun your opponents, basically something for every type of gameplay. Most first-person shooters tend to be really story-driven, and you'll play that game, uh, and you'll work your way all the way through it and get to the end of the story, and by the time you've gotten there, you've figured out what happened, uh, and there's really no need to play the game again. With Exotic, uh, the, the gameplay is much more about replayability, and uh, trying to perfect the way you play the level. You'll get this perfect run going and you'll be so proud of how, how you did. And you're, you look at the leaderboard and you'll see your score on there and you, you just missed the high score. And your friend, uh, your friend is just slightly ahead of you by a couple points. And then you'll play it over and over again until you beat him and then he'll do the same to you. My favorite thing about the game is definitely the point combos. I love the way that you can start chain reactions in the levels and try to keep them going throughout the entire level. In fact, we have this thing called the perfect chain and you can create a chain through the entire level with every single chainable object and get a perfect chain. Uh, it's really, really challenging and a whole lot of fun, and I think it's totally unique to the first-person shooter genre, and uh, pretty unique in, in games in general.